Hello, people of the internet. This is Bygone, and welcome back to the Bygone Archive. <laughs> it's uh, it's been quite a while since I've actually done anything with the channel recently, so you know, I guess there's a lot of catching up to do here. I don't even think I've got shaders turned on today, but you know what? We don't need them, okay? So I'm trying to figure out how to like break down everything I want to talk to. It's kind of a big topic, but you know what? I don't think I need to tackle it all at once. So. I kind of just want to check in, give you all an update of where I've been for the whole past month, and kind of reflect on the whole journey that's been this year. Because it's been... I don't know, it's been something else. <laughs> so to start off, where I've been in the past month is just basically tryharding with school. So I took off my... the first week of streams that I took off, uh, kind of leading up into all of this. Also, the volume's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit for y'all. Um, the first... The first like week that I took off from streams and said, hey, I'm not going to be able to go live was when we had our third exams from all the classes coming up. And I had to do a bunch of review, had to set up a bunch of stuff for that. Uh, y you know how it goes. And then finals was just around the corner. So instead of taking one week off from streaming, I basically ended up taking a month. Where's the music? This sounds really awkward. Okay, crap. Can I kill Blue, please? <laughs> okay, you know what? I haven't played Bed Wars in a month. There's my excuse this time, okay, chat? So anyways, um, taking another long extended break, I think this might be... Well, no, I've had some pretty decent-sized breaks from streaming uh, over the course of this year. Been very on-again, off-again, but basically having a month going no videos, no bygone archive, no random one-off streams has been... um. I don't know, it's been very different. It's given me a lot more time to really reflect on why why I want to be doing YouTube in the first place and why I care about this channel, honestly, because throughout that time, uh, part of me was seriously thinking about just dropping it kind of forever. I'm going to be honest with you all. Um, there's been just a lot of changes going on. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I'm dead from this. Um, yeah, wait up. It's way to kill a serious moment, Blue. OK, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um. There's been a lot of changes going on in life overall this year with adjusting to college, adjusting to kind of what I want things to be in the future instead of just kind of going with the path of least resistance and just doing whatever and having YouTube in the background. But um, it made me realize that I have to be a lot more intentional about the time that I have because it is it is so freaking difficult to actually you know, use free time on anything specific that I want to. Whether it's like hanging out with friends, going out, doing activities, or specifically with YouTube. Like, I have to actually budget things or else I'm just gonna sit in my room and basically not do any of those options. And, you know, it's a difficult choice to make. So, back back to the whole bulk of this discussion. Uh, school was taking up a lot more time over the course of the past month, which is part of the reason I was thinking, do I want to drop YouTube? Am I happier without this channel? Well, not without this channel, but like, am I happier without making content than I am with making content? And spoiler alert, uh, you know, I'm back recording this video, which is not a finale to the channel. Um, even though, you know, I already did one of those. I already killed this channel. It, al it always finds a way to come back. Okay, just, just like every time. Well, actually, I was going to say just like Challenger, but actually that guy... That guy's never been able to come back. Every time I try to frickin' resurrect him in a series, uh... You know, the series crumbles. But, <laughs> back to the point of the story. Um, some of the things within the past week or two, so... Well, okay, my brain is hurting trying to explain this. Okay, anyways, uh, in one of the classes, we had a group project where we had to design a game, and we had to work on a bunch of different stuff. And I ended up doing... I guess I'm trying to figure out how to best explain this. During the last week of the project, I basically stayed up, like, every single day working on stuff with it, right? Just making sure the final final thing was polished. It, it wasn't, like, a crazy big game or anything. It was basically just, hey, learn how to do stuff, do it with a group, learn how to interact with people. But I wanted to make sure everything was polished, it looked decent, and while some of the other groups had way better projects, I'm still pretty happy with our result and the work that I put into it. But part of that process was actually sitting down and doing work that I enjoy for the first time in a while. Um, I've been dealing with, especially from school, really bad burnout. So uh, around the time that I stopped streaming and was going into the third exams, I was really struggling with just doing any of the work for my classes. Really just being able to keep up and just kind of 
handling any of it. I, I was kind of hitting my breaking point with school where even though in the past, I, you know, I've joked about different things with dropping out or different things with it being my breaking point. I was just at a stress level and a workload level that was not working for me with everything going on. So I really had to take a step back, kind of reassess everything. And I think part of that burnout came from not really enjoying my school. So this is going to sound dumb because like a lot of schoolwork is work, you know, not all of it's meant to be enjoyed, but like not getting any sort of personal fulfillment or really anything it felt like from my work and that sort of turned around when i worked on that group game project and was doing some more of the some more of the work myself and really feeling like all of the work i put into that project kind of showed something at the end you know like i i felt there was something to i guess there was something to see as the result of my work which i was not getting elsewhere and that sort of made me remember why I want to be doing game design as my major in the first place. So, how does this random side tangent ramble relate back to YouTube? Well, it made me realize that the biggest thing that I actually enjoy doing and that I get some sort of fulfillment from is creating. Whether that's something there or whether it's something with YouTube, I want to be able to create cool things and feel like the time that I'm putting into projects sort of has an end result that I can show people. I just freaking died there. Okay, whatever. Um, and I think another, oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, let me just, let me just handle this situation. There we go. Okay, we're, go we're going back into this. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, I think that just having the result of my work immediately laid out in front of me and feeling like I made some sort of noticeable thing was what, made me start enjoying at least some parts of school again and it was very late in the semester that i came to this point but i've been thinking about that a lot and i think it ties back to youtube with the way i'm structuring my channel and the way i've structured my content and the reason that i get such severe burnout uh, if any of you have been following my channel for a while you know that i have these i guess spontaneous bursts of energy it almost feels like where i'll go i'll go crazy just absolutely like Starting new bygone archive videos, doing YouTube shorts, doing the streams according to a normal schedule for a little bit of time. And then as life catches up with me, I can't, I, I just simply can't manage all of it. And then as I start to falter, as I start to falter from that schedule, as I start to fall from the bar that I set for myself, I realize that it, it's just too much. I think I'm, I've been approaching YouTube the wrong way for a long time in a multitude of different wrong ways because every time i try to reapproach things i try to reinvent the wheel i try to do things from the ground up set i guess set like a brand new era for the channel all of those things and then i do that for a while it turns out pretty good and then things catch up to me and i can't continue it and the way this ties into, well, with streams, I think I've been handling that a lot better. I'd like to have a little bit more consistency there, but specifically the streams I've done this year, I think all the 2024 streams have been pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to do maybe some higher concept stuff rather than just the same games kind of on loop, but I think those are in a good place. But the thing that's kind of, um, kind of been stagnant on my channel is edited content and I guess higher effort stuff. Because when I go to record a Bygone Archive video, or I go to stream, it's just me talking at the camera or hanging out with chat. And while that takes some effort, and it definitely takes time, which is why um, I can't do it all of the time with like stuff like school going on in the background, it's the higher effort content that I really have struggled with for a while. Just trying to make work. I've wanted to have different series that have lore or canon to them, and I've wanted to have different huge projects Sort of at different points in the chat. Okay, crap. I, I thought they fell off the map. I'm just bad at this game. At least I got a respawn there. So, I think I've done done that to kind of a mixed mixed results. Like, some of my projects in the past have been pretty cool. Like, especially, like, the Scott the Boss video I did. I was pretty happy with the effort I put into that. But I kind of pulled everything there and then would just drop off, not really knowing where to go next. And if I had to... I'd kind of have to spend a lot of time thinking about what to do next. And, okay, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this video. It's going to be what it's going to be. You know, it's an overall reflection, dissection of this year, you know, as one does. So, <laughs> back to back to what I was saying there. Like, 
I think not having a definitive direction or idea for where the higher scope stuff with this channel is going to go has been has been my downfall in that department. And also not future proofing that for school or for life events to come up. Like I would always whenever I'd plan higher concept stuff for my channel, like edited videos or series or anything there. I would just plan them with the idea that, yeah, I'm just going to be able to put full effort into this all the time. And that's just how it's going to go, which isn't realistic. I was trying to trying to shoot too high with it. And I think I can do better in the future, I guess, in the planning process. Oh, did they just frecking void? They didn't even get my bed. Rip, rip Bozo, I guess. I guess maybe I'm the Bozo. I frecking died there. Anyways. <laughs> Where was my frickin' point? I just had the I just had the point of my statement just murdered out of me. Never had that one happen before. Actually, yeah, you know what? That's how the bygone archive series goes. Whatever. Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I've got an idea that I've been teasing for quite a while. Some big projects coming this summer, which I don't have too much word on. Uh, you'll be getting more of that soon. <laughs> That's all I've been saying for the couple of months but i've been revamping the idea revamping the way i want to do things here and sort of future proofing it so there's going to be a couple of series that i want to be starting and the way i'm going to handle it is there's a baseline level for the series that is just rooted in the streams and in sort of what i'm able to normally maintain right just normal live streams not too much planning but then every once in a while i can do something special with them so like for main mainline series, uh, I'll just use the example of Bygone Super Mega Playthrough, the survival series I've done. I'm up to episode six. I'm planning four more episodes for that. And I'm planning for those four episodes to kind of be a cohesive, like, arc, I guess, like a cohesive mini story between those four. But after those four are done, and after I tell the story that I want to tell there, I can kind of go back into a status quo mode for the series and just continue to do survival streams the way I want to be doing them. And I think having that balance, instead of trying to tell some sort of huge story every single time I go live and putting all of that pressure on myself, I can just kind of tell stories when I want to, have them be a little bit more, I guess a little bit more contained in scope. And then from that point, um, I can just continue the series and build on, build on one another. I don't have to plan everything out from the start. I can just kind of plan things step by step, which is... I think the way to be doing it going forward. So that way, if there is a hiatus, if there is a break where I have to focus fully on school for like a month, that's okay. And I'm not going to be losing anything in the meantime. I'll just basically be cutting down on the amount of streams I'm doing. And I can still plan those big arcs and everything for when they do happen every once in a while. So I'm trying to figure out, I had something in the back of my mind that I was going to say with kind of tying all back to this, but my brain is absolutely freaking dying. Can you all tell? Can you all tell it's been a long year of schools? <laughs> so, okay, getting back to all of that, it feels like I've had to do a lot more st Well, okay, brain hurting. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, f doing a full freaking software reboot mid-conversation. You know, I'm not beating the AI streamer allegations out here. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say out here is there's been... A lot of stuff offline that I've been working to do just to try to get better about things. Okay, that was the most generic sentence I've ever I've ever arrived at. But I guess the point of what I'm trying to say is I've been leading up to with a lot of these videos, like talking about going to college, talking about graduating high school, about change. Just talking about what things like are going to be like. I'm not sure what the future looks like. All of those different things. And I feel like for the first time throughout this whole process, I've kind of settled into the college era, whatever you want to call it. Um, graduating, or not graduating, freaking finishing this year, right? I'm definitely not graduating this year, holy crap. Just completing my classes this year, dying in that game, losing the game because of it. You know, all of these things. It feels like I kind of have the first year fully under my belt. And, okay, what the heck am I trying to say here? This is the fight that I've been going on back and forth with myself on this is why this video is taking so long to record i've wanted to record this for like a week but there's so many like bigger things i want to say about my year and what it meant to me and i i just don't think i'm ever going to be able to put all of it down on paper at once that's what i wanted to talk about yeah 
So one of the big things I would run into whenever I would do story focused arcs or want to do things like specifically there have been like I want to say two or three different attempts to reboot bygone SMP, um, picking up from the story where it left off. And every single time that one of those has happened, I, I've blown it way out of scope, tried to make it way too big of a thing. And then what ends up happening is I do part of it, I get invested, I put a bunch of work into it, and then I can't maintain that level of work. I don't have a full overall idea for the project. And I, I just want it to be this perfect thing to release because I feel like I've spent so much time on it. Like, any, if you all have worked on any sort of projects like that, you all will know there's... You can sort of internally build up this pressure on yourself. The longer you take on something, the longer you spend working on something and revamping ideas, the more, the higher quality you feel like it has to be at the end. You feel like it almost has to be perfect. And I'm realizing I've been that way about a lot of different things in my life. I'll just sit here basically either starting things and giving up on them or doing nothing at all because I feel like if I try, I won't succeed to the degree that I want to. And I, I've really, really been trying to break free of that mindset, trying to do more things. That's one of the things actually with that group project on the game I'd enjoyed more. I started doing a little bit of pixel art and it was a bit here and there for different parts of the project. And I still don't think it was the greatest work I've ever done, but branching into that i haven't really worked on that much in the past and i know that's uh pixel art's a big area that i want to get better at but i haven't really put effort into because i found it difficult and anytime i try i get burnt out feeling like it's not as good as it could be but i you have to try to be able to learn those things and i know that's like the most basic advice anybody can give out but truly for me it's been less of a learning experience through like knowing that that is the correct way to do things and more of a learning experience in that kind of, I had to find that out for myself. I had to try things, try new things myself, kind of take those steps in the right direction, even if I didn't succeed at them and learning how to get better at not like not getting better at specific things, but getting better at trying new things and pushing myself outside of my comfort zone has been the biggest thing I've been trying to do this year. And I'm still not the best at it. I still, like everyone likes what they're comfortable with, but I have a hard time with change a lot of the time. Um, and that's fine. I think that's always going to be an element of, well, just people in general, but specifically my resistance to change. I think it's fine. It's gonna be an element of who I am. And this person just with their fireball jump, L, L. Oh, wait, they're not even the person who's bet. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Um, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is I also don't think I'm going to be able to break free from that resistance to change by saying I'm going to start things over. I'm going to start things fresh. This time is going to be different. And then trying to change everything at once. Because that's not how actual change happens. Actual change happens by doing just a little bit at a time. Just trying different things pushing yourself a little bit even if your goal let's say uh in the case of making a new series or something let's say my goal was this year yeah actually we can use the example of my goal this year which was to post youtube shorts i think three times a week and go live two to three times a week every week and that's what i said back in january now i didn't quite hit that goal but for the time that i was able to kind of step up and move more towards it I think I made my channel just a little bit more consistent, just a little bit better. And I think that's what I need to be striving for. Even if I don't hit those goals all the time, that's okay. I don't need to burn myself out feeling like I didn't succeed because it, it was still an improvement over what was happening prior. So that's, I think the bulk of, the bulk of what I wanted to get to with this, I, I you know, there's probably a central theme in there to tie everything together somehow, but. You know, I don't need to look at these videos like they have to be some perfect huge thing either. I mean, the main reason I started this Bygone Archive series is because one, I just wanted an unfiltered way to just directly talk to you all about what's going on in my life, what's going on with the channel, everything in that sort of regards. Kind of very old, uh, old YouTube feeling. But also, I just wanted to, oh crap, 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 what am I saying? I did not want to crap, that's not what this series is. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I also wanted to kind of document document those things for myself. 
Um, I haven't gone back and watched a crazy number of the old Bygone Archive videos yet, but being able to know that they're there and knowing that I can go back and reflect on them is a huge thing I'm looking forward on doing at some point in the future. Like, I've kind of been holding off so I can do it all at once at probably, I don't know, whenever, whenever it feels right to kind of open that time capsule. But whether it's stuff like graduating high school or specifically entering college a couple months later, those types of videos I want to look back on. And I think I'll probably try to look back on this one as well. Just finishing my first year. What was my mindset like? How was I doing? I, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead here. I'm getting cooked in these games, but you know what? That's fine. We're chilling. We're enjoying this game. <laughs> so where the heck was I? I think I get, uh, you know what? You know, these, these videos start to go off the rails as soon as I start to get meta and talk about the series itself. Like that's, that's where it all starts to fall apart. So we're going to try to get things back on track and kind of tie everything back to back to the beginning of this title because I've known what this title of this video is going to be, and it's part of the reason I've delayed it so much. I want to make sure I get it right, but... Okay, you know, side tangent again, frickin' try things, don't just sit there trying to get it right. Just do it. If you get it wrong, that's fine. You can always try again at future things. Um... But it's, despite everything, it's still you. And it's one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite games of all time, just at the end of Undertale. And... I think no better quote can really encapsulate what I'm feeling at the end of this year. Just, I feel like internally, I've had to grow a lot. I've had to change a lot. And honestly, I don't think I can fully express that in the ways that I wanted to initially with this video. I don't think I'm going to be able to fully, fully explain that to you all. And that's fine. <laughs> I don't have to give the full backstory and context of this journey for, um, the weight of what I'm saying to really hold hold value. So I guess what I'm trying to say is throughout everything that's changed, throughout all of uh, all of the new things I've had to do, throughout all of the old habits and everything that have kind of gone away, like ev everything that's changed from the person I am now to the person I was a year ago, just at the end of high school. Despite all of those changes, despite all of those factors, I think the core components of who I am have remained the same. I'm still me. And what the heck was I? Okay, I, I got, you know, every time I die, I get a little bit more disorientated. <laughs> but I guess what I'm trying to say is those journeys are going to happen. Those changes are going to continually happen. But I guess learning to accept that despite everything that goes on in your life, despite all of the new, all of the old that goes away, all of the old that changes just a little bit or stays. Whatever's going on in your life, you're still you. Okay, this, you know, brain, I keep saying, you know, brain. I'm trying, I think I'm trying to like build and analyze the larger point of this quote and why it means so much to me. And I don't know if I'm quite hitting the mark, but at the end of the day, that's, that's fine. I guess what I'm trying to say is right now, it feels like the definitive or not the definitive. It feels like kind of the end of that first step towards who I want to be in finding, finding that kind of out for myself. So I guess moving on, I guess it's, it feels like the first step in moving on from the person who I was in high school, the person I was during, I guess throughout the whole beginning of this channel, into all of the past eras and kind of just growing up. It's It's been, I guess, a really big year in a lot of different departments because it's like, there are so many things when you move away for college or you, I guess, yeah, college. I'm Okay, my thought process is like really disjointed. It's trying to spin off in 10 different directions here. But what I'm trying to say is there are so many firsts that have happened this year. Like first time basically living on my, own first time i guess moving in general which is kind of crazy to think about because i've always lived in just lived in the same place um just all of the, <laughs> all of those new things that come with college it's been okay what the heck where how am i this bad at continuing to maintain a thought <laughs> that's you know maybe that's the real question maybe i really need to investigate that throughout the series 
<laughs> but I don't know. It's just been there's been a lot of new stuff going on. I, I think I've already established that a couple of times. We're we're 25 minutes into this video. We're rambling. The viewer watch retention has got to be so tough, but that's not going to stop me, chat. That's never going to stop me. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. I think that's probably going to be the last game of things, but I'm going to wrap up and talk about one more thing that I kind of want to cover in response to all of this. And that's, I guess, where I feel like I am in regards to all of that change. Because there have been a lot of, I guess, just generally life skills or life in general parts of it where I feel like I'm kind of behind. When I was at that point where I was completely burning out from my classes, absolutely struggling more than I ever have with school, and not being able to make things with YouTube because I simply didn't have the time. There was a lot of looking around and feeling like I was just falling behind my classmates. Like some of them were just able to handle the workload, handle everything else going on in their life, handle the parts of college, like making new friends, meeting new people and everything that I guess I've had to really work at to make sure I've been doing. Seeing that some people, I guess, are able to make it through that without as much resistance as I feel like I was feeling. It was really demotivating at times. But I think that also ignore like that also ignores the idea that sort of everybody is going through their own struggles, but honestly, some people are just going to be able to do things easier that you struggle with. And that's just how it's gonna go sometimes. But one of the big takeaways from that is just, I guess, trying to shift my focus less from, less from that, less like, less feeling like I need to keep up with the pack or feeling like I'm behind or any of those, any of those things. More to, I guess, judging, judging what I've been doing and judging where I am in comparison to where I was in the past, right? Because a lot of the time, and I'm sure a lot of you, uh, if you all are, what am I even saying? If you all are still listening to the video, which you are if you're hearing this, I'm sure a lot of you all have struggled with similar feelings going on. Just looking around you and seeing other people the same age or in your same class or in your same group achieving all of these crazy things. And sometimes it's difficult to feel like you have to live up to all of that, but you don't necessarily have to. The biggest thing is just trying to take those steps forward and trying to... I guess try to improve. So I, okay, where was I going with all of this? With some of the stuff with my classes, right? Where I felt like I was struggling with everything going on there. I needed to focus less on, less on everybody else going on what was happening there. I'm, I'm definitely dead from this. And just more on where I was in the semester. Kind of taking a step back, trying to review the material from the beginning, making sure I actually could try there, which Part of the reason I took off of YouTube, I felt like I needed to put more effort into school to kind of keep up with what was going on. What, you know, I feel like I kind of went on a side tangent with all of this stuff with school. But honestly, the point of what I'm trying to say is you don't have to make it quite to that mark that you feel like everybody else is setting. And you don't have to hyperanalyze all of that. The best thing you can do for yourself is look at where you are now. Look at where you want to be and just make sure you're moving in the right direction. Making sure you've got a just, even if it's a small bit of momentum, just moving in the on the right path, even if you don't quite get there right. And that's kind of where I've been right now. This is as at the end of this first year. I don't think everything with the college experience went. I think I don't feel like it went the fully optimal way. I don't feel like I've done. I don't feel like I'm on the path where I fully wanted to be yet, if that makes sense. I feel like there's still a lot more I could have gotten out of the experience my first year and a lot more I'd like to get out of the future. But that's also fine. If I look at where I was a year ago in comparison to now, I, I think I'm way further along with life. And I think that I can continue to be taking those steps in the future. So, okay. I'm being kind of generic about all of this. I'm trying to figure out how to like, I guess better point to specifics of what's going on. But maybe, you know, maybe I can do that at a future point in time. Either way, <laughs> a lot has happened in this year. It's felt, I guess, different from everything else going on in the, in the past. And that's kind of what I wanted to point out today. 
Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with the rest of this. I hope you all enjoyed my rambles, related to some of it maybe. If you're still here, leave a comment down below. What was your last year like? Uh, you know, it, it helps if you're in like, your school system lines up like with the same months, but you know, if it doesn't, if you're in the middle of stuff, just still think about what your last year was like. Let me know but down below in the comments. So I think that's all I have to say. I'm looking forward to posting more. I should be back in town. Um, I just realized I didn't even mention I finished my last final exam yesterday. <laughs> that's what this whole video was supposed to be about. But I finished that yesterday and I'm moving home this weekend. So maybe not next week since I'll still be settling in. But the week after I should be starting starting a bunch of streams. So look forward to look forward to, I guess, me actually coming back to this channel and doing more things with it and everything there. So I don't know where I'm at. We're like half an hour into the video. It's been something else. It's been fun to record. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and supporting this channel. It truly means a lot to me. And honestly, I really enjoy doing this. As many times as I think about if I didn't do YouTube or what if I did other things or what if I just kind of sat and played games instead. Um, every time I think that way for a bit of time, something always draws me back to this channel. Something always draws me back to creating. And legitimately, I wouldn't trade that for anything else. So that's the last point. That's what I'm going to end on. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.